today I'm going to be planting a large terracotta pot uh, with some shade plants. So first of all I take the pot, it's empty, a um, nice bit of crock in the bottom, two or three pieces of broken flower pot because it needs good drainage and then I will half fill it with a good quality compost, peat free if possible, but it needs to have something like John Innes in it so that it's um, fairly solid and doesn't blow over in the wind. Then when I filled it half full, I shall be adding a little chicken, pelleted chicken manure and fish blood and bone. And I just sprinkle a handful of that into a big pot like that to mix it in. And now I have a nice selection of shade plants here. This is a nice shade plant. It is in fact an indoor plant and people call it peace lily, but it's spathiphyllum. And it's a very good plant for shade. This is a nice plant for the centre of the container. And this one is actually sold as a house plant, but in the summer it does very well outside as long as it's kept completely in the shade. And I've grown it outside and it flowers all the summer. So this one will go into the centre. This is spider plant. You've all seen these. It's a house plant, of course, but it's great in this sort of thing. I also like to plant in threes. Somehow it just looks better. If you put just two plants in or one, it does not work. So you need to put three in. The third one on this side. And then I should be putting in between the spider plants, I should be putting these. These are a type of fern. Again, wonderful for shade. And these are lovely. So these ones go in between, this one first, like that. Now this container could actually be taken inside in the winter if you wanted to. And of course you could put other things in, but this is just a demonstration for the moment. There. Now those will all spread out and just look beautiful. I will fill in carefully with the compost and those will, will just look nice for the whole of the summer. As long as they're well watered and kept in a shady spot, it gives a very tropical look to the garden, which I love. So here's the pot finished. You can see how nice that looks. It's going to be a really good shade planter, this one. And hopefully um, we can either put the plants in smaller pots in the autumn and take them into the house for the winter, or you can put them in the greenhouse. But as I say, all these are actually house plants which will thrive in our climate now that the climate is getting slightly warmer. But as I say, keep it in the shade and feed it once a month with some liquid uh, seaweed and it should do very well.